Hi everyone, this is the quick and easy introduction to the collaborative lesson bank and personal lesson bank. So what is the CLB? That's short for collaborative lesson bank and in its simplest and easiest form, it's a Google sheet, which is the Excel of Google. And it's just this massive collection of all of the VIP kid lessons and all the PPT details, information and tools that you need to make your teaching even better than it already is. It's a shared doc that anyone, any VIP kid teacher can have access to and can contribute to if you'd like to. So it's an open Google doc that has all this information in it. Now, the other thing that it has, it has all the best VIP kid teacher resource banks. So we have digital resource banks, tips and tricks. We have Google Slides. We have all these resources that whenever I see the best things, there's people say, hey, I made this, then we add it to it. So rather than looking for all the different things that could be around somewhere hidden in the depths of Facebook and the teachers and the hutong, here's your one-stop shop to find all these great resources to help you teach a little bit better and easier and save your time. So let's talk about what information is in the CLB. So specifically, what is what are all the columns? What information do we have in those columns? So we have the lesson details. First, we have an outline of each slide that's in your PPT. So slide by slide, a brief abbreviation, so that beforehand you can look through the slides and then you don't have to be the rain man and memorize them because no one is. And so if you you look through them, but then it's hard to remember like, oh, what's actually coming next? So we have this outline so that you can have a quick reference to help pacing. We also have all the VIP kid goals, um, the vocabulary words, the sentence patterns, the grammar, all that is in included as well. And then we have the VIP kid reward systems. Um, you can use those or not. And you can actually replace your reward system in that section too. So here's the additional tools and information that also is included in the collaborative lesson bank. We have in-class student notes. So this is the student info. Maybe they like Coca-Cola. Maybe they're from Xi'an. Maybe they're five years old, whatever it is. These are your notes so that you can remember this student specifically. We also have a section so you can do performance notes in class and you can have them saved and you don't have to have notebook, notebooks and notebooks or find the stock. It's all in one place. So this is how did they do with contractions? How did they do with pronunciations? Whatever it is, you can take performance notes on how your student did. Then we also have physical props and rewards. So you don't have to click through the lesson and find whatever all the props that you might want to have already there. So these are the things that you could glance at real quick and say, oh yeah, I have that. And so then you could grab it really quick for the lesson. So you don't have to prep so far in advance because you can just look at it. It's already ready. Get your props out and reward system. We also have digital rewards and props. So if you're a digital user, many cam, cam twist, all of them, then they, and it's growing. If you're one of these users, we have suggested for that specific lesson, rewards and props that you might want to use. We also have lesson notes. So this is like teacher to teacher or teacher to yourself. So the things you wish you would have known before you started teaching, like that uh, not all slide is created, not each slide is created equal. And so this slide, ha this lesson has tons of content. So you need to keep up your, keep with your pacing and hurry up, or maybe that's a little dry. So have some extensions. Um, also, we have teaching tips and tricks. So um, maybe like Bossy E, like, oh, this is a really fun way that I love to teach Bossy E, or this is what I do on this slide. So if you have a specific way to teach something in that lesson, you can add that. And then you can see what other teachers have added. So if you're like, oh, I have no idea how to teach this, maybe a teacher has added a video of how to do something in that specific lesson. Um, and then last but not least, definitely, we have feedback templates. So this is not a copy and paste and every everything's generic. This is stop recreating the wheel. Everyone has to kind of introduce, well, you don't have to, but <laughs> you reintroduce what you did in the lesson. It's all the niceties. So there's no reason to recreate that wheel each time. So we have templates of just how, what was in the class so that then it's much quicker and easier to put in those specific performance reviews and you're spending your time on that rather than writing these feedback. So feedback is fast, minutes. It takes minutes to write these beautiful, wonderful, detailed, specific to the parent, shows that you have a lesson learning path for that student. Um, and it only took you a couple minutes. Um, so let me show you how, how this is done. So I'm gonna take it away, Sarah. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to use the personal lesson bank. 
So I go to my teacher's portal, I select the classes that I want to make my schedule for and get the CLB resources for it. So I just highlight them, say I want to do these four classes, and then I do control copy or command copy, copy it from here, come to my personal lesson bank, and I'm going to paste it in. Now I have my schedule, and all I have to do is click one time, get your schedule, and it's going to pull all the resources from the collaborative lesson bank for those classes and put them in here in my personal lesson bank. So voila, I have all of them, amazing. And so all I have to do is highlight these because this is my schedule maker and this will just clear, it'll update and put in the information. So I wanna take it out and put it into my personal schedule. So I wanna copy this and put it into my class schedule. So this is my personal lesson bank of all the classes I've ever taught, every student, every class, all the notes that I've ever taken is right here in my personal lesson bank. And I can take this anywhere I go. That's the awesome thing. So if I travel somewhere or I'm going somewhere, it's here. I have everything, every note I've ever taken, and I can sort by students too. So I only have Jenny's information or Mikey's or whoever. And so I come to this class schedule, my personal bank and library of all my classes, if you will. And then I'm gonna add some rows in here to the top. Dun, 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 dun. So now I paste in that schedule. So again, I was in this lesson bank. I copied, control copy, command copy, right click copy, <laughs> any of the above. And I come here and I paste it in. And now I'm going to clear the formatting and wrap text it so I can see it and move it to the top. And there it is. Here's all the information that I could ever want <laughs> and more. So this is what it looks like, what I was just saying. You have this, da, 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 da. this is your class, and then you have this little sliver of the of your personal lesson bank below, and it has all the collaborative lesson bank information in it and, it, and and it's easy. Now don't worry, if you're a digital user, so if you have a small screen, this is like for small screen users, you can fit in there, but you're, oh, Sarah, I'm a digital user, how could it possibly ever work? Ta-da, this is my <laughs> full screen of what I'm actually doing. I have the website that I'm using in my Minicam for my reward, my Minicam below, and then I have my classroom, and then I have the collaborative lesson bank below that classroom tab. So now I'm going to show you kind of step by step, break it down really easy and show you how I use it or what I use at different stages. So this is how it works. So this is my, a full showing of my lesson bank entry for a class. Now before class, I'm going to look here. I'm going to look at the lesson goals, props and notes, digital, if I use digital, the reward system and teaching tips. So then I can kind of get a good overview and look at what I might want to do before the lesson and then if I want to I can look through the lesson and now I have this cheat sheet right here that I can also reference so that I know where I am within the lesson now during class I'm gonna focus specifically on the lesson outline the in-class notes and the lesson goals so then I have this right below the lesson I know where I am in the lesson I know if I need to save a lot of time or a little bit of time because the reality is, is, I mean, it's good advice to say a minute per slide. That's good basic advice. But the reality is, is not every slide takes a whole minute and not every slide could be done effectively in a minute. And so this helps you kind of pace and recognize, okay, I have some big slides coming up or I have some really fast ones that I'm going to fly through. So then you can tailor your lesson specifically to that student instead of just going minute a slide, minute a slide, minute a slide. Um, and not only that, but then you look like you've memorized the whole lesson as you're going through because you know what's coming next. So then you're, okay, next, instead of clicking, oh, okay, now we're going to do this. Okay, <laughs> because you know what's coming up. Um, and then you have this place right here to take in-class notes. So, oh, they're developing Bossy E. Oh, they mastered this with low-level students. You can take specific notes for them, upper-level students, because sometimes, I mean, those upper-level, level sixes, they can fly through the lessons. And, and it's really nice to be able to jot down every single word they mess up on so that then at the end of the lesson I can recap it with them and I have this and I can send that to mom and say mom look at all this amazing work we did how valuable this lesson was with me today so we have in class notes then we have the lesson goals right there as well you know those things you focused on so carefully and heavily on during your mock and then you may or may not have ever looked at them again now you have it right there in class right below with everything else so you can make sure you're focusing on those vocabulary words the objectives, the sentence patterns, because it's all right there, right under your classroom tab. 
Now, after class, you have to write feedback. So now we have these feedback templates. We usually have two options. So if one style is not your kind of style, then you can copy, you pick, pick the one you want. We have this key to help you find and replace within Google Sheets really quickly so it changes and puts their name in into that template so you're not recreating that wheel. And then you look back here at all those in-class notes you took. And so it's quick and easy. You make the template personalized. You add in all those specific performance reviews for that student for that class and then within like a minute or two you have an outline of the class you have your student specific performance review for mom and what you end on when then whatever you want them to work on and it and it's right from you and it only took a couple of minutes because you have this template already made and also sometimes you don't have time in between class maybe they go over you go over they you have IT issues, so you go all the way to 28 minutes. You only have two minutes to go over. And so then you're doing all these feedbacks at the end of the day. No big deal. You can remember each of the things that they worked on because you took in-class notes, and it's right there. So then it's really personalized. It's showing a lot of emphasis that you really have a learning uh, plan for that student. So that's kind of your after class, how you use lesson making. So it kind of cut up how you use it at each stage before, during, and after class. So you guys, that's it. It's as easy as that. I hope you come and join us. This is all meant to stop making things harder. By having better resources, you can do it faster and making, your, <laughs> making you and your classes stronger. It's like a little Daft Punk tie. We need to like sing with it. That it's like harder, better, faster, stronger. <laughs> you guys, happy teaching. I hope this helps and I hope you come and join us.